Hey everyone, hope everyone's uh, doing well tonight. What I wanna focus on in this video are the places that I like to get models for Archviz scenes. Now, uh, I will be going through some free models, but I'm also going through some paid models. Um, in my opinion, uh, if you don't want to pay for models, um, just right off the bat, you're like, I'm never gonna pay for a model, you are kind of limiting yourself um, because there are some pretty incredible models that will save you a lot of time um, and just a lot of headache when it comes to kind of fixing your scene up. Um, if you really want to go kind of like diving in to try and find like free models, there are a lot out there. Um, but you are going to spend a fair amount of time, you know, kind of just sifting through the weeds, trying to find the ones that work. And a lot of them will work. Um, but I find that, you know, if you get something that is like a $10 sofa or something like that from CG Trader, um, more often than not, you're going to get a very high quality sofa. And you'd be pretty amazed by um, just how much models uh, or good models rather can make up a scene like you know it's if someone gets like a bed off the 3d warehouse and puts it in a render it it doesn't matter how good the rest of the render is it's just going to destroy the whole scene like the, the bed's going to look flat it's not going to look inviting it's just going to look like it's a board with like almost like this pressed sheet on top of it and that's just no good even if you change all the textures um inside of like something like lumion um, yeah, 3ds Max and Blender can just get so much detail. Um, a lot of people use Marvelous Designer uh, to do that, but it can just get so much detail with those um, with those softwares. But if you are bringing it into one of those or like Cinema 4D or um, Lumion, then you just have so much more detail that your light is going to be interacting with. Um, and in the real world, there's a lot of these kind of like fine details um, that we don't really pick up on. However, when you see a render that doesn't have them, immediately our brain says like something's not right here. Um, and yeah, so while you don't have to pay for models, I really recommend that you at least look into some of the uh, libraries I'm going to be talking about now, but let's hop right into it. So CG Trader is one that if you don't know about, I really uh, recommend you check this out because it's one of the best places to get free models um, for ArchViz. Now, they have a lot of great paid ones, but the free selection is actually what kind of stands out to me because what I often do is I'll just go to... Uh, I'll just go on to CG Trader, I'll type in decorations, click the free button. Um, and then what I also sometimes do is if they're trying to give you the premium uh, the premium models, uh, take the slider from $2 to $500 and drag the $500 down to $2. Um, because then not only will it be giving you the free ones, but it'll filter out all the ones that it might be trying to sell you. I think they actually might have fixed this not that long ago, but that's kind of what I did. So that you're only getting um, free models or models that cost $2, so um, very cheap ones. Um, but the decoration uh, list that they have is pretty uh, extensive if you are willing to just kind of play around with them a bit. Um, most models will not go directly into Lumion. You kind of have to workshop it a little bit because um, uh, since the, a lot of these files are made in 3ds Max, um, there often are some things that you kind of have to be able to adjust. Like if I was going into Blender, um, you know, maybe I have to change like the glass, maybe I have to change a couple materials. Um, or even just because um, maybe like it's three vases that are sitting on top of one another um, and then you want them to be like just not in a triangle but they're basically like off to the side you wouldn't be able to do that inside of Lumion like the best that you could really do is you import it you make two of the vases invisible and then you imp you basically do that three times till they're all individual but I find that's kind of more hassle than it's worth and it's really um I just find it really simple to be able to go into uh, something like Blender, adjust it how I want, and then export it into Lumion. Um, but I really recommend you check out some of those. The other thing that's really cool about them is that um, there's a lot of free interior scenes. So it's the entire scene. Um, the only downside to using these in Blend or in um, Lumion is that Lumion uses backface culling, which means that if there is a um, unless the, the face is actually facing the camera when it's imported like um, it'll only render one side of the object I guess so um, if people have watched my HDRI um, video then what we kind of did in that one is we made the inside um, have like the normal face so you can't see out but then if you actually are looking like outside of the sphere in then you won't see anything uh, on that side because um, Lumion just thinks that there's no face there. It's only like a one-way face, which is kind of a weird concept. But um, yeah, a lot of the uh, models you get off CG Trader have that problem. So uh, what you kind of have to do is like in Blender, 3ds Max, or just really anything that can edit faces, you have to make sure that all the um, faces are pointing to the right direction um, or else it's just going to be a mess inside of Lumion and you can't really do anything to fix that.
So one of my favorite places to get models, and I should probably say this is my favorite place to get models, um, not only for the selection, but also the price, um, is definitely iMesh. For $100 US, you get about 600 models, um, and all of them are very tasteful, very modern, uh, kind of a lot of like industrial style, um, where um, a lot of like, you know, something like Evermotion, you might get a package that has like, you know, a lot of good models, but you have to spend a lot of time sorting it out. Um, you know, you have to go and convert the textures because everything's in 3ds max. So it doesn't go directly into like something like Lumion or even blender. And you have to spend a lot of time messing around with that. Um, but iMesh is already set up. You just download the individual models. I think the only constraint is that you can't, um, you can only download one model three times. Now, I don't know if that number uh, resets after a certain amount of time. I think they just put that in place to help kind of uh, ease some of the downloads because there is quite a bit of uh, data that gets transferred and people are um, downloading all that stuff. Um, but yeah, they are, in my opinion, um, the best place to get models, not only for Blender, but also Lumion, um, because just by coincidence, the way that they set up their uh, material IDs, their actual materials, and just the modeling, everything like that themselves, it works near perfect for Lumion. I think that it is probably the closest thing to being able to buy Lumion models um, that is really out there right now. There's really not a lot of options like when it comes to like buying Lumion packs. Um, in my opinion, I've, I've quite literally never seen a pack for Lumion that's even remotely close to being uh, an acceptable level of models. Um, it's mostly just these kind of like low poly, like, you know, buy, it's like $50 for 500 models, but they're all just this like garbage that it's like, you might as well just stick with the Lumion library. But in my opinion, if you really want to take your renders to the next level in Lumion, you have to use... Um, Exter like I guess like mo um, external models um, because the Lumion library is great, but you don't have as much control over it um, as I think you need to really get a lot out of it. Um, and yeah, iMesh is fantastic for this. There's a huge selection of things like beds, um, showers, um, living room furniture, all that stuff. So yeah, in my opinion, if you have, if you're looking for um, models to buy or you just want really high end models, um, I would recommend you actually go check out the Lumion video that I just made. Uh, it's a full walkthrough using iMesh models. They're all free, so you can give them a try um, and kind of see um, if you think that they're worth getting. But it's a very, very, very powerful library. And um, they're constantly releasing new stuff. Like, I think they just released like 20 children's toys, um, just like models um, to kind of help fill scenes, which is basically the exact thing that Lumion uh, released as well. So, yeah, I highly recommend you check them out, and I'll leave a link below. So TurboSquid is kind of the old reliable for finding models. Um, the prices on them can range pretty um, wildly, but you're more often than not going to find what you are looking for. It's just that you may find a fridge that you want and it costs 80 US dollars. So if it's kind of a make or break deal for a project, you might have to do it. Um, someone that I found on that website that I think has probably one of the best like libraries you can buy from for the price um, is called In, I believe it's Ingrin Design. Um, they've modeled some stuff after brands like Pottery Burn, um, and it's pretty incredible. Like you can get like fantastic bed sets, uh, pretty elaborate dining sets, um, modeled beautifully. And they take um, they don't take too too long to set up. You will have to do a little bit of manipulation, uh, but they only cost about ten US dollars each, which for the amount of work it seems like they put in to make those models, it's a pretty good deal. Um, most of the time, if I'm buying something off of Turbo Squid, that's where I'm buying it. I just bought like a, a couple dining sets, uh, some bedroom sets uh, just the other day from him. So if you are looking on Turbo Squid, that's a great place to start. Um, you can also go and um, just, you know, get like Evermotion packs from there. When you're looking for a specific set, I find that Evermotion can be kind of hard to navigate sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'm not always a fan of using that website. Um, so I will just kind of combine Evermotion and TurboSquid in this one because often when I'm buying Evermotion, I'm using TurboSquid. But um, yeah, I'll leave a link to Ingrin uh, Designs uh, page on TurboSquid as well. Because as I said, for the in people that are individually modeling things, in my opinion, they have probably one of the best libraries for the price, so definitely check that out. Sketchfab is a library that um, is mostly photo scanned um, assets. I think they quite literally could be all photo scanned assets. Um, however, 
Um, something that is very neat is that the Smithsonian Museum actually began to photo scan all of these old like antiques, like vases, statues, um, and just old relics. And they are um, they were put into the public domain. So you are allowed to do with them whatever you please. Um, you can redistribute them. You can mess around with them. You can use them commercially. Um, and so um, it's it's a really, really awesome place to start if you want looking for like kind of like interesting um, artsy home decor. They have, um, at least the ones that I've tested, have just like a base model, color map, all this stuff ready to go. So um, often when you're doing photo scanning, you get like this kind of like mishmash of uh, textures and it's kind of a mess, but these are all very clean, uh, incredibly well done in my opinion. Um, but there's also um, a ton of other things that you can get on Sketchfab. Like if you're looking for something like mountains, you can go and say like, okay, I want mountains for my background, which in my opinion, these actually work a little bit better for Lumion um, if that's what you want to use. Because if you drop a model in, um, you're not limited to Lumion's like terrain box. I think it's like two kilometers by two kilometers. So if you're doing this massive mountain range or like a big valley, you can actually drop in mountains that I think those could go 10 kilometers um, inside of Lumion. So you can make these massive scenes with it. Um, and so it's definitely worth uh, checking that out. Polygon is probably one of the best places in my opinion to get 3D models. Um, they have a really um, great library. The only complaint I guess I would have about the library is that they don't release that many models. Um, lately, they've been focusing on doing things like uh, photo scan rocks, um, household plants, which are great. Um, but I think it'd be pretty cool if they added some things in like beds, more sofas, even like ovens and fridges. Um, even like clothes. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that they could kind of branch off into, which hopefully in the future they will. Um, but what is really nice about Polygon is that if you buy a model from them, you know that you're getting like a 10 out of 10 quality. They always have uh, fantastic topology. Um, the textures are on point and they're all kind of wrapped up um, neatly, which works great for everything that is in Lumion. Um, something that I do kind of have a complaint about Polygon though, is that they don't put their color map into the generic folder. So what happens is a lot of people just say like, okay, um, you know, my render engine isn't on the list if it's something like Lumion. Um, and then they go, okay, well, I'll just download the 3ds max one because that's a default. However, if you download the blender one and you actually go into the blender folder, then there will be a color map just sitting there, but it's not in the generic one for some reason. So I think that a lot of people would just download this and go like, oh, I guess I'm shit out of luck. Where in reality, the map they need um, so that the metal isn't all black is actually in the Blender folder, um, but Polygon doesn't say anything about that. So that's something I actually reached out to them and said, you know, maybe you should change that because um, I think it confuses a lot of people. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I guess that's up to them to change. Um, so yeah, hopefully they will keep coming out with models because I, um, I love using the Polygon ones. Um, it would just... Um, yeah, I guess it'd just be nice if they had more beds and things like that. But um, the price is really good for them. Um, you can get thirty or sorry, three hundred credits um, f a month uh, with a subscription for about thirty dollars Canadian, which is like about twenty dollars US, uh, maybe twenty two dollars US, something like that. Um, and that will get you about eleven like sofas and chairs and things like that, which is a really good price. They also have some fantastic rugs, which are optimized. Uh, great for scenes, like um, great color maps on them. Um, they only have like a couple thousand triangles, I think, so they're not going to slow your scene down and they look really good. So definitely check out Polygon. All right, so I hope you didn't find that video uh, too boring. Um, in a quick recap, buying or even just getting free 3D models can really add a lot to your ArchViz scenes, whether it's like Lumion, Blender, or 3ds Max. Um, I just don't think it makes a lot of sense kind of in the... Um, in sort of like the industry these days to be making all your own models. Um, you know, if you are doing like a living room scene and you have to spend like even like two days like making all this furniture and you're like learning certain skills to do it, that will help you learn how to model. Um, but I don't really focus too, too much on learning how to model in something like Blender. Like, um, because I find that I just kind of pick that stuff up as I go. And the main purpose why I use Blender are for very high quality interior scenes. So I'm not going to sit there and spend like eight hours, um, you know, modeling this sofa where I could just go spend $10 and get not only a nicer sofa, but it's set up with like textures. Um, and it's all like ready to go because it, it just saves me time, uh, arguably saves me money in the long run. Uh, and then it's also kind of interesting when you get like a really nice model to be able to kind of like go in and see what other people did. Um, 
and then just kind of try and replicate that. That's how I learn at least. So the way that like when I wanted to first learn ArchViz, what I was basically doing is just making like, like I just kind of learned SketchUp to the point that I could make a room and then I'd bring that into like Lumion and then I'd, I'd basically import as many models as I could or use the Lumion library. I wasn't really focused on creating like my own chairs and things like that because I kind of figured that that's something I'll get around to learning. Um, and right off the bat, I just really wanted to get into like, you know, just making some interior scenes. Like I really wish I had, um, I really wish I had the pictures from the first time I downloaded V-Ray for SketchUp uh, because I tried to like model all my own stuff and like it was just a mess and I was getting all this like hot garbage from the 3D warehouse and yeah, I, I wish I had those pictures to share with you, but I don't. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you for stopping by this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that button and help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you are already subscribed, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I will see you in the next one. Have a great night.